everybody. So welcome back. So today I thought I would do my February favorites. Um, I don't have a ton this month, but it's probably because I don't know what happened to February. It has been really super crazy. Um, I've kind of been having some issues going on, so just stick with me and we will get there. But I have a few. Um, next month I will definitely like keep me a list of being all misorganized and then we'll probably do better. So let's get started. Okay, the first two things um, are two of my four makeup items and they are lip items and you'll probably notice um, if you haven't seen my transition to cruelty free which I will have over here, um, you can watch that video. I am transitioning all of my makeup and my life to be more animal cruelty free so these are some of the products that I still have that I haven't gotten rid of yet which if you watch that video. Um, yeah, you'll see I had to get rid of a lot of my makeup, so. But that's okay, because it is for a good cause, it's for the animals, so you should do it too. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, NYX Butter Gloss. This is in Apple Strudel. I like these because I actually like that they're a little bit sticky to them, because I think it makes it last a little bit longer. Um, and I love the color of this one. It's kind of like the one that I put over other glosses. So I'm loving that. The other one is this Tarte Lipstick and this is in Coral Blossom and I don't know, I just, I love the color. Um, it has a little bit of a shimmery glitter to it almost. It smells really good. It smells like if you had just put on toothpaste. Um, whatever. It's minty. Minty. <laughs> so anyways, I love this. I love the packaging. It's kind of like cardboard, but I don't know. I just really love this color. The next two items that I have, my last two makeup items, are more just uh, face items. The first one is this Sheer Cover uh, Concealer. It's a duo concealer, so it actually has the two different sides to it. And I only use the light one. What I do is I use it under my eyes. I put on my NYX BB Cream and then I put on my uh, Stay Matte Foundation over that and then I pat this under my eye. Just kind of, it brightens it up because it's lighter than my skin tone and it still gives me like coverage and everything. So I really like using that and then I just take the next item which I'll show you and put that over it. And this is the Bare Metals. I'm sorry if this blinds you. Ah! Blinding, sorry. Um, I'll show you this side, it's a little bit better. <laughs> so this is the Bare Minerals Pressed Powder. This is just the translucent one. So what I really like about this one is that it, I don't know, it, it doesn't make me look too cakey. So what I do is I take my e.l.f. powder brush, and I dip it in, and then I pat it. I especially pat it over where I have um, my duo concealer here. And then I just pretty much pat it all over my face. Something that I remember seeing on one of April Athena 7's videos is that um, any sort of powder you should pat it on instead of buffing it on. Apparently Goss Makeup Artist says that, so if he says it, must be true because he's the bomb. Okay, the next item that I have is a clothing item. Now, I did a video on a different pair of leggings. I don't have that one with me, but this is just a representation. But um, I will go ahead and link that video down below as well as here. This is my holy grail leggings video. So it's winter where I am still, so meaning that leggings are really important to me because I think they're comfortable, but it's cold. So, oh, actually, these are those leggings. These are just black ones. So uh, just leggings, but they have like a fleecy bit inside of them, and these are black, so it's kind of hard to see, but they're just leggings. Um, but I've been wearing leggings a ton. What I do, uh, just to be a little bit more budget friendly, is I take some of my shorter skirts that are for the summer, and I wear those, but with these leggings underneath it, and then boots, and so it transitions it from summer to winter. So if you guys are interested in seeing some more outfits or like OOTDs of how I use my summer items for winter, let me down. Uh, let me know down below. Uh, click the like button if you want to see a video like that. That would be cool. So I've really been loving these leggings and just leggings in general because who doesn't? Who doesn't love leggings? Most girls like leggings. <laughs> the last two things that I have today are food items. One is food. One is drink. Um, it's pretty much been my morning staple, like, just loving it, which I have a story to tell you. Uh, the first one is orange juice. 
Um, I love the Simply Orange Juice, and this one has pineapple in it, and it is so freaking good. I have a cup of it at least every morning, if not another cup somewhere throughout the day. I don't know, I just love orange juice, and who doesn't need a little bit of vitamin C in their life? Vitamin C, right? Yes? I think so. Ooh, I don't know. The other thing is what I've been having for breakfast every morning, and that is oatmeal. Um, so, so you know, I'm eating vegan, so I don't eat like eggs and all that stuff, so it kind of makes it a little bit harder to have something good in the morning. But what I've been doing is having these quick oats. Um, so, you know, it's just oatmeal. But what I do is I take, uh, it says you do about a cup of water to oats, but I don't use water, I use almond milk. So, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying. Whew. Anyways, I take a half a cup of oats, one cup of milk, put that in the microwave for about a minute 35. That's my microwave, don't quote me on that. But I do that, and then I add some peanut butter and then apples. Uh, for a while I've been using like the can of apple pie filling, but I know that's not good for you, but it's all good. Um, but I chopped up some apples. I'm trying to do that now, which I chopped up apples uh, today, this morning, and I didn't realize that the chopping board that I had used like still has like an onion odor to it. And so then I put them in my oatmeal and it tasted like onions. It was disgusting. I was upset. It's gonna be okay. That is all of my favorites for the month of February. Um, I was sick for a while, so makeup was kind of eh, and I've been having some issues with school and all that. Like I said, February was blah, blah, blah. Anyways, hopefully March will be much better, but if you guys have had any favorites for February, leave them as comments below. Let me know what you're loving, food, music, books, makeup, skincare, whatever you guys have been loving, let me know. Maybe I can try it out. And if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button over there. Um, if you are subscribed or if you're not, you can check out the other videos that I have down here. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everybody.